Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Dina of Love Plan Love. So for today's video, I wanted to do something exciting. I have been online shopping quite a bit lately because of the quarantine. Um, so I did pick up a few things from Amazon and a notebook from Archer and Olive. So I definitely wanted to share a few things that I picked up with you guys. And I really hope everyone is social distancing and just staying safe and being healthy during this crazy time in the world. Um, so I'm just going to start off with the Amazon things that I picked up. If you have any questions about where, about any of these things, I'll have them linked down below. I created a, um, kind of like a favorites list on Amazon so you can shop directly from there. So I'll have everything linked down below. Um, so the first thing that I wanted to show you are these Tombow dual brush pens. I literally have been eyeing these for a very long time. I just never bit the bullet because they are quite expensive. Um, I feel like they range between like $14, $15 a pack. Um, so I definitely had to pick up the pastel version and the nude one or the portrait palette. I just really love these colors because I think they kind of just round out everything that I like in terms of um, highlighting certain things and even when I brush letters. So I think these would be great pops of color in my planning and my journaling. Um, so I'm really excited. So if you guys aren't familiar, they are dual ends. So the one tip is your brush tip and they are quite um, big. And then the other side is a finer kind of marker tip. So I hope that helps. So I really love these colors that I chose. I know I want to get some more um, in the future, but as of right now, I think I'm very, very happy with these styles. And then I got more pens. Um, I wanted to re-up on my Muji gel pens. I did in the past purchase the 0.38, but I wanted to try the 0.5 because I feel like after a while of using the 0.38, um, when it gets to about a little less than half, it starts to get really scratchy. So I am hoping I don't fall into that same problem with the 0.5. So I'm really excited to try these and I definitely have to pick up, I believe this is a 10 pack um, because I love, love these pens. These are my go-to pens. And then going back into brush pens, these are the Tombow Fudenosuke brush pens in the hard tip. I, when I first purchased them, I got the dual package with the hard tip and the soft tip because I didn't really know what I was going to like, but I have loved using the hard tip for mainly a lot of writing that I do. Let me just open this so I can just show you the inside. Um, because the hard tip is easier to write with when you're writing in smaller sections. Um, and then when you want larger areas to write on, the soft tip um, would be the best. So this is the hard tip. It is the blue barrel, but they are hard to tell um, when they're side by side. Um, but I really, really love using this, especially in my journal and when I want to just accentuate certain things. And because I bought all these new pens and brush pens, I needed a new pencil case. And I was really contemplating between getting like a marker kind of case where it has these kinds of loops or just a regular pouch. So I was happy to find something that kind of has both. And I really like how long this um, pencil case is because it will house my Tombow dual brush pens very easily. Um, so you have a bunch of the space here and then on this side it opens up and has pouches where you can store um, your washi tape if you have whiteout, um, any small stickers or anything like that you can have those in these pockets. So I really love that. So I'm going to fill this up just so you know how much it can fill. So I'm literally just going to take all my dual brush pens and empty it out into the pouch. I'm really picky. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm really picky when it comes to my pencil cases. So I'm just really happy to pick that up. So I am happy with that. And then I could also put in like my Fudenosuke brush pens in here as well, but I don't feel like opening those up. Um, I don't have wet out on me right now, but they would fit very snug in here. And then what I was thinking 
I would put my Muji gel pens here because I like having like my pens very accessible and I don't have to really look for them. And I was also thinking about putting some of my favorite um, mild liners in here, but I think I really like the idea of having just my pens here. But that may switch up because I do have a few favorite colors and also like I don't like having all my pens out as well so I could use up a few at a time first and then I can re-up and use a different one later. So um, if I don't end up filling these up with more pens or even different pens then I'll most likely use some of my favorite colored my liners which is most likely going to be the gray, um, the blue, pink, and purple. So. We'll just see. So, um, even with just all of those Tombow dual brush pens and my gel pens in the front, it, there's still a lot of room. So, I really, really like this one. And um, this pouch came in like a larger checkered or this smaller checkered. So, I like the smaller checkered. So, um, I'm very, very happy with that. And then, my last purchase from Amazon is, of course, a Moterm planner. This one I was very very excited with because I have been eyeing the milled pink for a long time. Let me just get this open before I break a nail. All right so when you open the box you get another box inside and then I've already opened this up just to look at it but I wanted to show you guys how it came packaged just in case you guys haven't um, seen that. I've been really trying to find like the perfect pink planner that I like and it's kind of really hard so um, I'm really happy to have this in my collection and I just love the shade so so much because compared to like the Vanderspeck Parm this is definitely a more warm color um, but just looking at them side by side it's kind of hard to tell because I have inserts in this one. Um, the Moterm does seem a little smaller, but I'm going to see how that fills up when I start putting inserts, which I don't know if I'm going to move into this right away um, or wait at least until the end of the week because I am still trying to figure out a setup. So I really, really love it. And just really quickly, you have a zip pocket, a big back pocket, and it comes with a bunch of note paper. Um, you have a pen loop card slots, a pocket back here, um, and that's about it. So I'll go ahead and put this in um, when I do end up setting this up. So I'm really, really excited for that. So again, that's all my Amazon purchases. So if you have any questions, definitely check out the description box below because I'll have everything linked. This one, I won't have this one directly linked because um, it may or may not be still available online, but they do restock um, pretty often. So just keep a lookout for that. All right, so then my last purchase that I have made is my Archer and Olive notebook, and I'm really, really excited for this one. I, again, opened this already, but I wanted to just show you guys the packaging, and it is so beautiful and stunning. And I don't know, like, I kind of want to keep this box um, because I am that much of a hoarder, but I feel like I can make good use of it. So, I'm so excited. I don't remember which one this one's called, but I ended up getting a purple notebook, and which is very different of me because I was thinking about getting a black notebook, but I wanted to add some color into my life, um, and I the pinks weren't really standing out to me. I didn't really like them, so I figured why not pick up the purple one. I really love the design of the cover. The only thing is, though, my corner seems kind of, I don't know, worn but whatever it's fine because I probably would have done it myself um and yeah and I just really really want to use this like right away which I'm going to be setting this up I won't be doing it on camera um but this is going to be my bullet journal for work because I am starting a new job so I am just very very excited to set this up and then move into it um but I will show you guys like spreads, but I don't think I'm going to be setting this up on camera. So I'm really, really excited. The paper is super, super thick, which I love. And the fact that it's really white um, because I was contemplating about getting this or the pink Lloyd's term. Um, but I just really love the white paper in the Archer and Olive notebook. And I'll have this link down below too. 
All right, I know that was a super quick video, but I just wanted to show you guys um, some of the things I picked up on Amazon and from Archer and Olive. So I really love everything that I purchased, and I usually stay on a no spend for a very long time but um just being at home and just thinking about starting a new job and just needing new things um kind of got me on this high of buying new stationary things so i'm very very excited for everything that i did pick up so if you have any questions don't forget to check out all the links down below if you haven't already subscribe and check me out on instagram at live plan love and i will talk to you guys in the next video bye